Hey, this is Right for 100 here, and today I'm going to tell you how to make your own flash grenade. So what you will need for this project is a disposable camera. I already took this one apart. Some solder, along with a soldering iron. Some kind of project box, in this case I'm using an Altoids container. Two momentary switches. A battery, some miscellaneous wire, pliers, and wire strippers slash cutters. And that's about it. The first step in making your flash grenade is to make sure the camera is safe to touch. You will notice that above the circuit board there is a black and the uh, gray object that looks like a battery that has two wires coming out of it. That is a capacitor which uh, holds the charge but discharges it very quick and if you touch it it will hurt you. To make sure this is discharged take your battery out which just fell out and you will notice somewhere around there that there are two little copper connections just barely not touching each other. To discharge the capacitor and flash the camera Take your pliers or screwdriver and touch them, like so. And that discharges the capacitor. Once your capacitor is discharged and your battery is out, simply grab the circuit board and pop it out. It should pop out fairly easily. Like so. Grab it, pop out. You can uh, throw this out, we don't really need that. Or if you need the lens for another project, go ahead and keep it. Let's start with soldering our switch uh, that will charge the capacitor that will activate the flash. To do this, you will notice that there are two small pads, metal pads, that uh, are not soldered to any wires. Those are the two connections that uh, complete the circuit from the battery to the capacitor. Take your two wires that are pretty strict and solder them to those two pads. You may want to uh, get some kind of wire holder like this. As you can see the wire is perfectly held over that little pad and now I'm about to solder it. Now that your wires are soldered, take your switch Find the two connections and once again solder that to the wires. Once you have your wire or uh, switch connected, it's time for a test. Simply grab your AA battery, make sure to put it in its correct orientation, and press the switch. You should hear a high pitched sound. And if yours has a light on it, it will light up. To discharge the capacitor, simply pinch these two things, these two uh, copper flaps, and it's discharged. Now it's time to move on to our discharging switch. For this, you're going to want to locate these two copper flaps which we did previously and again solder wires to both of those. Now that you have your discharge slash flash switch attached, it's time for a test. So usual drill. Put in the battery. Turn on your charging switch. Thanks. And it would cooperate. Okay. So, plug in your battery, turn on your charging switch. Charge it up until the little red light comes on. Make sure that those connections are not touching. Don't touch those two connections either. And, in three, two, one. Okay, Houston, we have a problem. 
Oh yeah, I actually just figured out that it's not a bad switch, you just have to push it really hard. Along with this one. So charge it up. And push the switch. In three, two, one. It's actually a little delay. Kind of like a half a second delay. So, now it's time to prepare the case. So, um, take the battery out, make sure it's disarmed, and carefully move it to the side. You may also want to wrap your switch slash wires in electrical tape or heat shrink tubing, but that's not important right now. <coughs> 